Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'd just like to take a uh, moment of silence for the uh, 17th year anniversary of 9-11, which uh, there was 2,997 people killed and over 6,000 people injured and, you know, numerous uncounted lives and families touched by that. So if we could just take a moment. Commissioner's office requesting the board approve and execute the minutes for the meeting on September 6, 2018. Second. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. So today's financials include an appropriations transfer to the sheriff's office for web check fees deposited into the general fund. <coughs> An appropriations transfer from the commissioner's miscellaneous to the auditor's county tax expense to properly expense collection fees. Cash transfer from the general fund to JFS child support enforcement admin fund to correct a transpositional error in a previous financial. Cash transfer from the general fund to the Pleasant Hill home to meet remaining payroll and reimbursement obligations. Cash transfer from the general fund to the liability self insurance fund to cover Corsa insurance deductibles. Cash transfer from the undivided general real estate to the over double fund to cover the refunds of residents that overpaid their property taxes. Among the encumbrances are a contract encumbrance from the Department of Development, Community Development to Lakeland Management Systems Incorporated for the joint contract with Berkshire Schools for their office accessibility upgrades project being funded by grant number BF 171AZ1 and a contract encumbrance from Water Resources to Hessen Associates for engineering and consulting services in regards to changes needed at the Burton Lakes Dam. Among the vouchers are 69,579.88 from Common Police Court to the Treasurer State of Ohio for that unspent Smart Ohio grant funds. And also there's a revenue certification from the sheriff's office to recognize additional funds received in their commissary fund. Okay. Quick question for you, Adrian. I just noticed this. Um, on uh, the supplemental appropriations, we have um, supplemental appropriation for the Adams Board, other county taxes. This is the same one that we're doing for the auditor as well that I mentioned. Uh, these are those they used to uh, distribute the collections from the property taxes as a net of these expenses, but the state requires them to show them as a separate item coming out of the property taxes. So they needed to create a separate fund for the county and the state expenses. So that's what we're just appropriating money in order to, to pay those. So we got a net check, say, of 150000 but it was really, it was a gross to the county, I'm just using numbers made up, 200,000 and then there was 50,000 order and treasurer's fees. So it used to be you just recorded the net as a receipt, the 150, mm -hmm. but the state auditor said, no, you have to record the 200 as a receipt and then show the 50 as an expenditure. Out of the property taxes. Yes. Just for accounting, that's that's how they want to see it recorded. <coughs> okay, thanks. So that's what the Adams, that's what the mental health is. Yeah, that's right. true of any property tax with a settlement coming out. Correct. Yeah, there's there's a few of them in here. So the commissioner's office is requesting for the proof next week resolution 18108 itemizing the financial for the meeting of September 11, 2018. So, second. Commissioner Clifford. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Adrian. Thank you. Here, Adrian. Auditor's office. No one from the auditors here. Okay. No. <laughs> but it's it's pretty straightforward. What they're doing here is, you know, the auditor is, you know, Auditor Walder is uh, going about uh, renewing his agreements with outside entities that he's doing work for and charging them. And they want to set up a separate fund so we can accurately track kind of like the profits there. Okay. What are we spending out of that fund of services communities or what are we getting as revenue and payment for the service? What would an example be? 
of service? Well, I'll say for for uh, phone system, phone system, Networking. IT. You know, the, so he does Bainbridge. They do Bainbridge Township, yeah. and Chester Township, and mm -hmm. City of Chardon, and the Park District. So those are all outside entities that the county has no obligation to service. So it was done kind of more informally under the previous order. This is simply setting up a separate fund so you could really accurately track what's right. going on and see it as a profit center. So in the past there was no, it was kind of more of a handshake type agreement? Well, or? yeah, I mean, and they paid for certain things. They paid for equipment and they may have paid uh, based on whatever agreement the previous order had, but it was all kind of coming into the ADP fund and being spent out of these, so it was all intermingled with expenses for the ADP fund related to servicing county agencies. Right. By doing this way, you're setting it up as a separate. Did county they always system. charge in the past? Do you know, or was it? They charge at they, least for the hardware. For the right? hardware, yeah. but yeah. there's. I mean, my understanding is they didn't always charge for the actual services being provided. The labor involved in getting the hardware to work. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The auditor's office is requesting the court approve and authorize the county auditor to establish a new fund to allow for the tracking of revenue and expenses associated with the ADP's board to contract and those services with other public entities. Second. Mr. Clickle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And the next four. two items are just the county auditor and county treasurer monthly reports for May, June, and July, which all balanced out with our records. Okay. We just need to approve those. So, so we can read those. So move. You want to read those together? Or, or? The county auditor is requesting the board accept the execution file of the monthly statement of county finances filed by the county auditor for the months of May, June, and July 2018, pursuant to ORC 319.15. The county treasurer is requesting the board accept the executive file of the monthly statement of county finances filed by the county treasurer for the month of May, June, and July 2018, pursuant to ORC 319.15. Second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good morning. Good, morning. Sir. Good day to talk about drainage. <laughs> <laughs> Easy drainage. Right. No hard drainage. <laughs> yeah, first on the list is the easement or a culvert that was replaced uh, from Mr. Evans' rank. Fairmont Road, Newbury, for $358. Uh, this allowed us to extend the culvert outside the railway and eliminate a guardrail forever. Right. We lost. So that's yep. basically the purpose behind this. Okay, could we okay. get a reading on that? The county engineer's office is requesting the board accept and execute the easement for drainage purposes between the Joy County Board of Commissioners and Dennis C. Rank, parcel 23 264 600 for drainage improvements to culvert CUL 0016 04.510 in Fairmont Road in Newbury Township, ending on $358. Second. Mr. Pickle? Yep. Mr. Lennon? Yes. Okay, uh, seven. Seven is a familiar name, I'm sure. Uh, yep. On yep. a number road. Basically, what this <laughs> is, <laughs> what this is, is a corrective plat. I have to stand up here and, and admit that I made an error. I'm not perfect. There is a bad distance call to the, town, to the county line, and the fellow community of surveyors reminded me of that, which is a good community to be involved with. Because they help, and that's what this is all about. There's one dimension that has changed on the plat that needed to be corrected for the record since this is an important plan. Okay. And as for the update on Doty Road itself, vacation, well, since we're in the same area, I'm still working with uh, the prosecutor's office on the items that we've discussed. Right. Or the lane, the turnaround, all that stuff. So that is still in process, and I hope to have something uh, agreed upon. Almost completed with that, yeah. To, to get that in the, the board as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Great. Can you read that? Mr. Wagner, I'm going to hold me on the other day. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes. The County Engineer's Office is requesting the board approve and execute the vacation plat corrected for the public right away upon a portion of an unnamed, unnumbered road located in Lot 5, Section 23 in the Township of Parkland. Second. Mr. Pickle? Mm -hmm. Mr. Martin. Yes. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Thank you. Have a good day. Too. Appreciate it. Good morning. 
Good morning. So we are having our annual meeting next Wednesday at um, the Sisters of Notre Dame Educational Center. Um, and during our annual meeting, we usually feature some um, facts about either our community or about our agency. This year, we're going to have an expo about all of our different programs and services so our community can help be that conduit between the seniors and our services. Um, and during our um, annual meeting, we do an award ceremony where we um, honor outstanding individuals in the community. So we have five resolutions today honoring um, Senior of the Year, and that's Mr. John Marker. Um, he um, does so many things in the community, from being a home-delivered meals driver for us, to working with a local veteran, giving him rides to the VA, um, working with his local church and the schools uh, in a preschool class. He's just very involved in the community, very active, and one of those individuals that um, just is able to reach beyond what we can do. Um, Don DeMonte is with UH Hospitals. Uh, as our Senior Advocate of the Year. She has coordinated with our department um, to reach out to seniors on many, many different issues affecting them, um, giving them um, tools that they can remain safe in their homes and options for treatment and services and um, diagnostic testing that they may not be aware of. Um, she's an exceptional individual. Um, they do an Age Well, Be Well program with our agency in UH um, that really out reaches out to all the seniors in Geauga County. Um, the Omen Family Living, um, also they own um, Briar Hill, um, Holly Hill, the Hills Group, uh, that's the Omen Family Living. Mm -hmm. They're being honored as our Senior Supporter of the Year. They have changed their services um, in the course of the last year to include home health care services. They're building on um, a, a post-hospital rehab to their, um, to their facility to help um, Sometimes people get discharged from a hospital, they're not nursing home appropriate, but they're not ready to go home. Mm -hmm. So they're building a unit to accommodate those folks in the community. So they're just doing so much for the community mm -hmm. and really changing what they do business-wise to benefit the community. So we wanted to honor them as a senior supporter of the year for their programs that they're adapting to meet our needs. Um, Kathy Doyle, um, she's our volunteer of the year. She is um, paramount for our Parkinson's boxing program. So she um, shows up quite regularly. She is on the front lines with Sandy McLeod, encouraging um, those with the Parkinson's disease to um, work hard at the boxing so that they can help control their symptoms. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, Joe Constant, um, he recently passed unexpectedly. He was a home delivery meal driver. Mm -hmm. um, exceptionally active, drove around almost every day, always in communication with concerns about the clients he would see and would reach mm -hmm. out to our agency. Um, he did pass unexpectedly, and we did want to honor him as the Home Delivered Meals Volunteer of the Year. And his wife, I believe, will be there to accept the award on his behalf. Well, that's nice. And we hope to see you there. Yeah. It's a good time. Skip was there last year. Yeah, I'm expecting you to do it. It's good food. It's good food. It's at Notre nice Dame. Venue. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. do a nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Nice space. Is it in their new facility? or is It, it is not. No. This is in the Education Center. Okay. So, um, it's a nice large meeting room, mm -hmm. and then um, it kind of attaches on to um, where, where some of the offices are and the gift shop is. Right. So it's, it's okay. a very nice venue. What is the nice. uh, I think we opened doors about 11, 11.30 with some appetizers. Yeah, it's wonderful. And, and the um, Notre Dame Village community, as a matter of fact, it is open. They are taking residents now, and that has been quite the construction. If you've driven by, it's really mm -hmm. oh, incredible yeah. to see what's been developed there. Yeah. Well, this is nice that you, I'm sure they probably aren't looking for the recognition, but that you are recognizing them, and it's a you know, nice thing to do. And, and, and to add to the um, to the family living, the Omen family, I mean, they have really been expanding over these last two, three years, and, and uh, it's a huge benefit to have here in Geauga County. Yeah. They're a great yeah. group of people. It's, it's wonderful when they will ask to meet with us, and they'll say, what are you seeing? You know, what problems are coming through your doors? Is there anything that we can do within our companies? What, what can we change to help the community? So that's really wonderful that you have mm -hmm. business owners that want to mold and adapt mm -hmm. to meet the needs of the community. That's great. Okay, do you want to read those? Two, three, two, twelve. Okay. The Department on Aging is requesting board to next week resolution number 18109 honoring John Larker as the 2018 Senior of the Year. The Department on Aging is requesting the board approve next week resolution 18110 honoring Don DeMonte as the 2018 Rose Mountain Senior Advocate of the Year. 
the Department on Aging is requesting the Board approve to execute Resolution 18-111 honoring Holman Family Living as the 2018 Senior Supporter of the Year. The Department on Aging is requesting the Board approve to execute Resolution 18-112 honoring Kathy Doyle as the 2018 Volunteer of the Year. And the Department on Aging is requesting the Board approve to execute Resolution 18-114 honoring Joe Constant as the 2018 Home Delivered Meals Volunteer of the Year. Okay. Any motion? Second. Mr. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Okay. Kelly. Good morning. How are you? Great. I'm here today to ask for permission to advertise for the airport ADA restroom project for the F17. Um, we wanted to do a public bid opening on October 3rd at 2.30 p.m. as well. Okay, you can read that. The Department of Development is requesting the board grant permission to advertise for bids for the Jogger County Airport toilet room renovations under grant EF 17-1AZ1 to be held Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018 at 2.30 p.m. Notice of this bid opening will be advertised on September 13th, 2018 and on the county website. Second. Yes. Thank Great. Thank you. Okay, water resources. Oh, you are here. That's hiding in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. Got a bag over here. Yeah. I was wondering. I was He's wondering. Here. Yeah. I was looking for I had you. To sneak in the back. Yeah. I was running late. So all right. All right. <laughs> our first item here is for uh, a service contract with River Reach Construction. Uh, this is part of our trunk lean relocation down in, in Bainbridge where the sewer lines are starting to be exposed in the river. Uh, this is the with the Hawksmoor portion of that project. The Hawksmoor Homeowners Association had been doing a uh, project of, re, of uh, fixing the embankments and fixing the stream that was in that general location. So this is a service contract with their uh, with their their contractor that they were using for the stream to pull the pipe out. Of the of that stream when the, when the new line is put in. Okay. Okay, we get a reading on that. The Department of Water Resources is requesting the board to approve the next fee service contract agreement with River Reach Construction to perform removal of sanitary pipe for Hawks Marking in the Bay Ridge Township for a period of 12 months in an amount not to exceed $25,000. So, second. Mr. Pickle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the next item is also associated with the uh, trunk main project because of on the other side of 422 in the Canyon Lakes area, uh, this is just a uh, change order to reduce the uh, contract. Uh, we have an area where we're going to be doing uh, <coughs> jack and bore of the sewer line, but they're not going to be able to do that because of the soil was collapsing, so they have to go and do, do it as an open cut. So this is actually a reduction in the cost. Okay. So explain that to me again. An area where they're supposed to put the put the pipe in by, by jack and bore, which is you know, basically oh, shoving right. the pipe through the ground. When they were starting to look at it, this, the soil was too unstable. So as they were put, as they start to push through the pipe through, it would just collapse behind it. So they're going to actually go through and open cut that area instead. Is that going to? That's going to should be less it, expensive, right? It is going to be. That's what this is. A, this okay. change orders a, a deduction. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Department of Water Resources is requesting the board approve next few change order number three, decreasing the contract with SET Incorporated for the Bainbridge Sanitary Trunking and Realignment Project for a change in the steel casing installation from jack and board to open cut excavation in the amount of $8,450 and extend the date of completion by an additional 62 days. Move. Second. Commissioner Clickwell. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Lennon. Yes. Great. Okay. And then I'm going to put a different hat on. Yes. My Commissioner County Administrator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now continue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this next item is the, uh, the employee evaluation form. We did some revisions. Originally, yeah. the employee evaluation form had uh, you know a number of different areas to be that the employees are evaluated on, but the rating was on a scale from one to ten or one to fifteen. And as we can, as we kind of do it, it was always kind of a joke. Is really what's the difference between a seven or an eight mm -hmm. when you start looking at it? So we took it, took at it, reevaluated, and said let's just do it on a five on a scale of one to five. The at your your average good em you know, employee is going to be threes down the middle. So mm -hmm. you basically start with a three. If it you know if they're good in certain areas, you can bump it up to four. If they're bad in certain areas, you drop it down. Mm -hmm. So you work your way up. But you have to the supervisor will have to 
put in why they did why they rated that person other than a three. Right. Sure. So now you have a new form this way. I wanted to, I wanted to get this through um, the evaluation so that we can talk with all the supervisors and talk with the employees so they understand this evaluation is changing this year. So you don't you know if you in the past got a ninety when you suddenly get a twenty seven, don't. Don't jump, you know, don't think yeah, yeah. you're suddenly, yeah. you know, you fell went, off from, the yeah, went yeah. from a really bad, you're a good yeah. employee to a really bad right. one. That's expected. 27, you're at, you know, expect, can't expect the average <laughs> to be a 27. Right. So, yeah. wanted to make sure you have enough time in advance that everybody knows what the new Sure. Is. Okay, great. If we can uh, read that. The Commissioner's Office is requesting the Board approve and adopt the revised Employee Performance Evaluation Form and its placement in the Joe County Personnel Policy and Procedure Manual to be effective September 11, 2018. Second. Commissioner Pickle? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's uh, just a big stack because of one for everybody that's included in there. Right. Dave, do you want to, um, um, on item 17, about the first responders? Well, this is just simply on occasion 9 11, we're, we're again recognizing all the folks in Joggy County to provide primary response when an emergency situation arises, and that includes public safety folks, the, the, the local police departments, the local uh, fire departments, the, the sheriff's department, uh, Department of Emergency Services, I think the parks was the other one that's listed. And, and the Ohio State Patrol. And the Ohio State Patrol, yeah. Okay, so we can um, read um, each name off, is that how you, the best way to do this? or? The, in the, the, the last whereas of the resolution, um, it says the Jog County Board of Commissioners wish to recognize all first responders that proudly serve the residents of Jog County for their continued professionalism and dedication, including all members of the fire and police departments in the county that include Auburn, Bainbridge, Burton, Chardon, Chesterland, Hamden, Middlefield, Montville, Munson, Newberry, Parkman, Russell, South Russell, Thompson, Troy, the Jog County Sheriff's Office, and the Jog County Park District Rangers who have state pilot patrol as well as the staff and Department of Emergency Services. Second. Commissioner Pickle? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Lennon? Yes. Okay. okay, item 18. Um, Commissioner's Office is requesting the board approve and execute the following resolutions honoring Jog County students that participated in the 70th Annual State Science Day 2018. And I guess I can just read the names off then. Yep. If you want to, yeah, and then I included what school they were from as well. Okay. So honoring Alexander Frank Novitsky, West Geauga High School. Alyssa M Marie Mobley, West Geauga High School. Honoring Antonio Linick, West Geauga High School. Brian P. Morgan, West Geauga High School. Ellen Esther Folk, West Geauga High School. Elizabeth Kent, St. Anselm School. Lindsay Culp, West Geauga High School. Peter A. Wesson, West Geauga High School. Ray Erbar, West Geauga High School. Robert Charles, Sunderhaft, Kenston High School. Shannon Shea, St. Anselm School. Let's get a motion for that. So moved. Second. Commissioner Yes. I'm sure they're all tied up in class here today. Yeah, their projects are quite interesting. <coughs> Nobody wants to know more and have the, the list of projects. Okay. So item 19, the commissioner's office is going to move into executive session for the purpose of considering the purchase of property. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, Skip, myself. Jerry and uh, Glenn. Jerry and Glenn. Yeah. <coughs> we have Dave Fusion come in too. Please. Yes, Dave. Yeah. Also, so moved. Second. Commissioner Pickle? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I take them with me? Or no? Yeah. I'll yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to take this? Yeah. 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 I'm supposed to witness it, but I'll, I'll trust you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All signed.
Okay. Oh, more? Those are all done. Okay, we're back from executive session with no action. Oh. At um, 10, 10, 25. So, um, meetings, ADP meeting tomorrow. Today. Oh, today, I'm sorry. Two o'clock. Yep, two yeah. o'clock. Board of Revision, I'll be at Thursday. And solid waste. So that one, I may be running into a conflict there. Um, I'm not sure how long this Board of Revision is going to take. So if I need to get out, maybe somebody can fill in for me or... The board of revision. We don't have uh, alternates, unfortunately, in the waste management district. We do. Well, I, can, board I know, but I mean, I, I can, can come, come up to the board, board of revision. I think it's only supposed to go till eleven. So yeah. And then the WACA. Um, we have our annual meeting at eleven a.m. Friday, which will be in attendance. Um, I think Nick Gorris is going for Ralph. For Ralph. Mm -hmm. um, family first Monday. Perry Nuclear Power Plant drill next Tuesday so our uh, session will be moved to the following Thursday at the regular time of 9 a.m. Yeah. Let's see. And then, uh, oh yeah, yep, Department of Aging, the luncheon at Notre Dame. And then budget hearings begin on the 25th. With that. Move to adjourn. Second. All right.